guys make sure to stay tuned and one common mistake if you make that mistake guys we will talk about what it is it can actually cost you thousands of dollars in repairs they will will explain what it is hey guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video to any of you having a bmw 5 series generation f10 f11 from year 2010 to year 2017 if you need to find where the blower motor fan fuse is located which fuse you need to check where you can buy cheap parts tools fuses realize at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos guys we take them completely apart we show you how to do almost anything transmissions engines bodywork coats fuses why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos now guys we took pictures of every fuse box in that bmw okay uh, every fuse box so we can clearly guys show you where everything is located so you can clearly see the fuses because otherwise they're hidden in places where practically we cannot get the camera so we're going to show you one by one okay we have video about every single fuse every single relay so let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you need to guys okay find where the fuel pump fuse is located all you have to do watch our video it will take you probably guys less than two minutes replace that fuse and you're back on the road otherwise you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere guys we make those videos for your convenience now uh, we'll make video for every single fuse and every single relay guys and we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our youtube channel check it out they can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so for the blower motor fan guys okay now we need to check multiple fuses there is very limited information we'll be working in a few fuse boxes make sure you stay until the end now there are very many hidden fuse boxes in that car we'll recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on bmw f10 f11 the first thing guys okay that uh, you will need to kind of like do today will be to open the passenger door then you need to open the glove box and behind the glove box on the right side on the very back you have a cover remove it and you get to a fuse box with a layout like this one before we continue let's let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize so let us tell you guys why it's super important to test fuses and realize fuses guys sometimes are really hard to know if they're burnt or not for instance i'm going to pull one fuse here okay and sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're good they're bad and let's say you think you have a good fuse you put it back in and you end up having problems again and you spend time money you buy parts diagnostics you pay for services that you don't need guys you practically wasted your money so all you have to do waste uh, ch ch check your fuses that way you don't waste money guys so always test your fuses even if you think it's good always test it it even happened to us guys okay and we work on cars all the time another thing always test your relays they're a little bit harder to uh, test but if you want to see guys how to test fuse relays we will put a link in the description of the video below but we've seen so many customers that think that they have a good fuse they put it back in they waste their money on parts and diagnostic that they practically guys do not need so check out the link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse and how to test the relay as well so guys if you want to buy fuses relays parts tools at a really good price quick shipping as well guys we're going to put a link in the description of the video below guys uh, make sure you get some for peace of mind and you can put some spare ones in the glove box so here guys okay what do we need to check now multiple fuses make sure you stand to the end we work in three different fuse boxes for the heater fan also known as blower motor fan fuses very limited information guys was, uh, is available about that uh, now make sure you stand to the end we want to give you one good advice that way you don't do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us so if you come right here guys we're going to zoom in here and come in that bottom row of fuses you need to check guys fuse number 65 that fuse right here okay 65 some cars may have fuse 68 in that fuse box but specifically ours stops at 67 68 might be in, uh, an extra row right here for some specific models then you need to open the trunk <coughs> in the trunk guys on the right side that's the cover that you need to remove underneath you have another fuse box and here you need to check multiple fuses one of them is fuse number 132 okay that fuse right here then you need to check fuse number 142 
Okay, for the two, some of you will or will not have this one right there. Next, you need to check fuse number 195 right here. And fuse 202 will need to be checked as well. That fuse right here, very important fuse. Also, guys, under the hood, if you open the hood here on the passenger side, you have that plastic trim that if you remove it, it kind of like looks like, uh, okay, like this one. Let me show you. Go ahead, remove it, and uh, guys, and after that, okay, that's the top view. You see, that's a hidden fuse box that's practically sealed. They tell you you cannot actually, guys, uh, replace the fuse in this one, but you can. If you open it, we will be making a video how to replace one. You have hidden fuses as well. So that will be where you will need to check some extra fuses. In some models, you may have a hidden blower motor fan heater fuse there as well that you will, guys, need to check. And uh, also guys, you may need to check uh, two more, by the way. One of them is known as fuse number 121. It will be that fuse right here for some models that can control, uh, control it as well. And the other one is fuse number 177, which will be that 20 amp fuse that you will need to check here as well. So you guys have all kinds of different fuses, relays, okay, in that car. So what we recommend, guys, okay, buy some spare fuses, relays, put them in the glove box for a peace of mind. One time we needed a replacement, we couldn't get one, okay, and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere. So always keep some spare fuses and relays in your glove box, guys. That way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. Hopefully the video was helpful, guys. Thank you for watching and see you next time.